Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it very, very much. And listen, you don't have to go very far to look around our parish to see all of those people who are asking for your vote. Some of the things that you need to know are what your responsibilities are and or if there's some changes to districting and are some of those lines that are drawn in the sand. If you are very glad to have with us Register of Voters, Rhonda Rogers. Rhonda, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. So uh, first things first, let's just kind of talk in general about what people need to know about getting ready to vote. Well, the first thing that people need to know is that they are eligible to vote in this election. And in okay. order to be eligible, you must be a registered voter. Okay. So I always encourage voters, even if you think everything is good, check your registration check your voter portal which is easy now right there's the go vote app you can put it you can put your information in and you can make sure your registration is active right that word is important because you could be inactive and we right. want to make sure we have the correct information making sure our voter rolls are updated and accurate are very important to us the candidates and to anybody else you know in the parish right and quite frankly some people who were in one area because of some redistricting may be in a different area so that's something right. very important right. to remember and that affects multiple different uh, aspects of voting this year it does and we did send voter id cards to all voters who were affected with redistricting but in your voter id card you get a number you might be in state rep 52 right but who's the person associated with that number that's not on your voter id card right so when people actually go to their ballot they're going to be looking for certain familiar names that might not be there redistricting didn't affect everybody but right. it did affect a lot of voters in the parish so that's one of the things you can do your homework on before you go into the machine and before you vote right and that affected certainly our state representatives correct right? several of our state representatives that maybe were in one district or in a different district now of a name that you may recognize and for parish count and for the council right it for went all the way from district. the state we did state senate state rep and parish council districts all of those and Correct. redistricting is something that's done at a state and national level to be able to make sure that we are um doing things fairly Correct. right that's just Correct. one of the things that they do that our numbers are fair in each district right. and so we worked really hard it took probably about over two years to really come to where we are today and it's done every 10 years, and that's why we push the census. Make sure right. you do your census, because all of that matters when it comes down to this. Doing that. Gotcha. Uh, the only other thing that's important is to make people let them know about the information. So go ahead and put that up. Uh, Aaron, if you don't mind, and let's walk through this a little bit. This is the Terrebonne Parish Fall 2023 election information that's needed, and uh, we're going to share that with you through Rhonda. So the first thing we want to pay attention to are those registration deadlines. Okay. We do have two different deadlines. The first deadline, which is September 13th, is our in-person or by mail deadline. There's more than one way to register to vote. Okay. So if you register in person or you send me your application in the mail, you have to have that to me by September 13th. If you're already registered, check your registration. Make sure, make sure you're still current and, uh, and up to date. If you have a change, like an address change, even mm -hmm. a party change, even a name change, these deadlines apply to that as well. So it's not just new registrations, it's changes to registrations. Okay. So new registration uh, in person or by mail by September the 13th, 13th. are online for updates or changes uh, to anything by September 23rd. Which is our Go Vote voter portal. Right. So that is submitted electronically. So you have till the 23rd. 11.59 p.m. to get that in. Get it in before midnight. That's right. And so early voting is something very important to a lot of people. They want to make sure that they get their votes in if they're, they may be traveling. Or for some people, they like doing early voting at any time. Tell us a little bit about those deadlines. Early voting, we're going to start on Saturday. It's Saturday, September 30th through Saturday, October 7th. We are okay. closed on Sundays. Right. Pay attention to the hours. Early voting does start at 8.30 a.m. and we go till 6 p.m. Wow. And I will have more information coming out about early voting because we are doing it out of my main office okay and so we're, we're working on getting some diagrams out there for the voters so they can okay. learn where so they can know where to park and how we can have that set up for and them. that's for the october 14th primary correct right? yes. okay 
Very good. So the November 18th, which is general, that's some other dates for early voting, right? Correct. Correct. So we do have early voting as well, Friday, November 3rd through Saturday, November 11th. And the reason we start on Friday is because we have a Veterans Day holiday in there. Oh, that's right. So we'll be closed for that Friday for Veterans Day and on the Saturday Saturday. as well. Gotcha. Okay. And the deadlines for the November election for registration are important as well. A lot of people don't realize they needed to change their registration Terrebonne and Lafouche are so close. Right. So if you right. moved to Lafouche, but you're still registered in Terrebonne, if you wait till the deadline after September 13th, you're going to vote in Terrebonne for September, do your application, and we're going to transfer you to Lafouche for the primary, primary. or vice versa. Vice versa, okay. For the general, gotcha. excuse me. Uh, so any mailing ballot deadlines? You want to let people correct, know about that? Correct, correct. We have a lot of interest in mail-in ballots. You have to qualify. Right. You must send us a request to qualify to get a mail-in ballot. So pay attention to those dates as well. The deadline to request it is October 10th, but I do not recommend waiting to that do day. Not wait. We right. have to put your ballot in the mail. Right. And the deadline to turn a voted ballot back into us for the primary will be the Friday before, which is October 13th, 4 30 p.m. Okay. Very good. A couple of specifics. If you have any questions or problems with the Go Porter, you can call 873-6533, right? To reach Correct. out to you. Yes. Early voting is located at the Register of Voters Office, which is located at 8026 Main Street. Uh, Suite 101, which is Government Towers, very easy to get to. Uh, parking is located on the Gabas Street side of the towers. Uh, and so you know, other, other information, sample ballots, you can go to www.govote.com once they're available. Right? Correct. Very good. Yes. So uh, last few seconds, any other things other than tell people to go vote? Go vote and make sure your voter registration is up to date. Very good. This is wonderful information. I appreciate that, especially with the changes that we see coming this year. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I do appreciate appreciate it. it. You got it. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment. Don't go anywhere. A lot more right here on Bayou Time when we continue.